sat in a dark movie theater, terrified by some horrible creature on the screen, then it may be of some consolation to you to know that it was probably made in a simple workshop like this. Hi, I'm Maria Shriver, Behind the Scenes in Hollywood, and tonight we're going to see some of these incredible movie monsters and find out how they're made. This is the workplace of Rick Baker. Rick and his co-workers are part of a minor revolution in Hollywood. They call themselves special effects makeup artists, and they manufacture the goblins, gorillas, and gore that are currently pulling in big money at box offices across the country. We're actually inventors, you know, I mean, they'll, they'll come to us with an effect that's never been done before, and we have to invent a way to do it. Rick's special makeup credits include King Kong, The Incredible Shrinking Woman, Star Wars, The Fury, and what he calls his most challenging project, An American Werewolf in London. At first we start with it, the idea, the basic sketch. And here for An American Werewolf in London, Rick was called upon to design a makeup plan for a man attacked by a werewolf. Okay, once we get our actor, we take a life mask like this, and we make our mold. We had three different stages of makeup, and also like three appliances on this particular stage. And when they're all glued on and made up, then we have something basically that looks like this. And this is how he looked in the film. And that's how he looked in the film, only he was real. This is plaster. You know, even though we're dealing with a subject matter that isn't real, I mean, I'm trying to make him as real as possible, as realistic as possible. When Rick isn't working on films, he's coming up with new ideas. These mechanical arms can perform most of the functions of a living human being. We have just really elevated and, and, and advanced the state of the art a great deal. I mean, we're not in the nose putty days anymore. I mean, we're not just in the, in the foam rubber days where we just stick a little makeup on there. We're really creating whole new beings that sometimes don't need actors. Occasionally, a movie special makeup is so outstanding that it takes precedent over any other element in the film. That was the case with an American werewolf in London. This amazing model was part of a 10-month project, costing close to $300,000. The early stages of a man turning into a werewolf were done with the actor in makeup, but the final stage belonged to Rick and his monster. It takes five people to make the face move, Several levers open the mouth and elongate the nose. Syringes full of air inflate the cheeks and brow. And a hand placed inside the head moves the neck. Even with all those people standing around, the effect is still frightening. We do something that I think a lot of people in the film business don't really understand the amount of work that's involved with it and the time that it takes. And also, I think they think that we're pretty strange. Rick Baker and a handful of other talented people certainly have made great advances in the field of makeup artistry. So much so that the Academy of Motion Pictures has created an award for makeup. And it's quite possible that one of these creatures just may walk away with an Oscar. <laughs>